All right, welcome back to another episode of the Connecticut State Jaguar Dynasty. So this week we are taking on 28th Tennessee. You know what? We're here to rewrite the script. I think that's the name of the game for Connecticut State. Especially if we can keep getting first downs like this. If we can just keep, you know, running up the middle and picking up good yardage, I mean, that's that's a sign that our team's got something going for us. Not a lot of protection there. Ah. Well, trying to go a little bit farther down the field than we'd like to work with, but oh, we gotta we gotta try out different things. You know, we're not gonna be able to rely on the QB scramble all day today, so. You know, this, this isn't Hofstra. We're playing a, basically a ranked team. They're right outside the ranking, so we're going to have to really bring it and try some new things today. Like that. I mean, you got to catch it. The ball was right in your hands. Have to catch that. Ball, ball. We got the ball. We got the ball. Oh my gosh. Huge fumble recovery by the boys. Special teams is one third of the game. Let's keep pushing. Wow, I would have picked it up and put him down. All right, we're going to get right back on the ball. See if we can carry this momentum. Oh, that's a good slide. Zero protection. I saw him coming from the right, and nobody wanted to pick him up. So, terrible blocking, terrible offensive drive, and hopefully we can hit a long field goal here to get something out of it. Ah, that's off. Oh my gosh, must have squeaked right into the right post. You know, I think we're going to run a lot of dime defense this game. I think that Tennessee is going to air it out all game. So we're going to let them take yards on the ground and we're going to defend the air. Good defense. Ah, 
All right, good. Ball, ball, ball. Oh, how do we not get that fumble, boys? That's all right. We're going to keep on, you know, playing strong defense, keep forcing the fumbles. The turnover and the penalty battle is something that we have to win if we even have a chance to beat a team of this caliber. Big sack. Huge sack for the boys. Let's go, Jaguars. Go, Jaguars. Speed right now. Hit him with the Jaguar jolt. No huddle all the way down the field. Perfect play. The pocket collapsed. Everyone went around me. So I just went right up the middle. Using our quarterback speed to really beat this team early. All right, right back on the ball. We're doing a really good job. Um, we're not just trying to force plays that I don't think we can make. All right, they're giving us a lot of space. I think I'm gonna take off here. Juke, he jukes one, and he's still going. Right back on the ball. This is perfect. This drive's going exactly how we want it to. Play action. See the guy over the middle. And he catches it. Right back on the ball. I know we're getting real close to the goal line now, but we're going right back over the ball. We're going to do a draw. No, we're not. They are stacking the box. I'm going to switch it to... Where's quick slants? Nope. Nope. There's quick slants. And just missed him. Just 100% missed a wide open wide receiver in the end zone. We are going right back on the ball. And it's almost picked. Oh my gosh. That's why you got to hit the guys when they're wide open in the end zone. That's why you got to capitalize on those moments because you don't get them often. Oh my gosh, awful, terrible. Injured his head, his head must have already been injured because there's some terrible decisions by him, terrible throws. This would be a big field goal, get us up by six. Let's see, all right, looks good. All right. All right, all right. We're going to go 3 4, get a blitz going here. I know our linemen backers aren't as good as our D linemen, but sometimes I just like running the 3 4, mix it up a little bit, keep the offense guessing. Got him. Let's go. That's a user sack. Combs with a big hit. All right, we're sending the blitz. Even though they're probably going to pass, we're going to send a little bit of a blitz here. Everyone's just got to hold their guy long enough for us to get to go to the quarterback. He's short, he's short. He was short. There we go, they gave it to us. Oh, here we go, gentlemen. Fires it over to King, who's got a huge catch. Let's get right on the ball. Huge third down, let's get right back on the ball. Play action. Fires it. 
and he has a huge catch. And he's burning. He's burning. Fumbled. Oh my gosh, it's out of bounds. Whew. All right, we needed that one to go our way. All right, I mean, Burke or Maxwell are our main targets here. And we just couldn't get the ball off. He just got jammed up the line. Nobody was open. Had to wait. This would be a big stop. We can get the ball back. Two-minute drill. Get down the field, try to make it a two-score game. Good tackle. Oh, my gosh. Great tackle behind the line. I mean, I, I just didn't really see anything on the field that I wanted to force. Especially it was a slant route. Everything's going over the middle. So I'm hoping right here I can just hit Burke on a quick little first down. Oh, that's such, oh, that's such garbage. They do. Oh, that's a big sack. We needed that. Not going to call a timeout or anything. Just going to hope that they run out the half. Well, that's a heck of a first half. Had no idea we'd be going into halftime with a lead. Uh, both offenses really aren't able to move the ball. Ours is struggling. Theirs is struggling even worse. But luckily, we've been able to capitalize on two fumbles and have gotten six points out of the things. Imagine being at this game as a Tennessee student. You're just standing there like, how on earth are we losing at halftime to the Connecticut State Jaguars? As I say that, they are running a kick return back almost to midfield. Combs. One of the leaders of this defense, and everyone's getting bullies. Oh my gosh. All right, this is not a good start to the half. As I said before, a touchdown here puts us behind by a point, so it would feel like all the first half's work is kind of for naught. Get a sack, get a sack. Oh my gosh, how do we not break up that play? Oh, that's a tough one to watch. All right. A field goal here would be magnificent for our team. He's short. He's short. Yep. All right, we're going goal line. Blitz all. I don't think they're going to throw, so we're selling out on the run here. Good stop. That's a huge stop. That's how you sell out on the run and get things going. That's how you do it right there. That's textbook goal line defense. We're going to run a field goal safe zone. Don't need them getting a touchdown here. We'll give up the three, and we'll take the ball back. All right. All right, let's go. We're excited to have the ball back. Honestly, that feels like a win for our He's fighting for some playing time this year. We're going to keep running the 4-3 for now. Um, you know, I, I know they are definitely a threat in the air, but I just think they're going to rely on the run game a little bit more in the second half. As they just air it out for a huge gain. Oh, man, this defense is starting to crumble. I, I don't even know.
Oh, I mean, you know, this was bound to happen. Our secondary really hasn't stood much of a chance against these guys all day. We are going to switch it up, though. We're going to we're gonna rely on our four down linemen to get in there and try to stop the run, get to the quarterback, because clearly the linebackers are struggling. Even the quarterbacks are struggling to get to the guys. So if no one's going to be able to defend for more than a couple of seconds, then we we got to just get some faster guys back there. Pick. Oh, my gosh. Pick by Nix. Pick by Nix. And he fumbled it. Oh, and Pruitt jumps on it. Oh, my gosh. That could have been dangerous. What a play by Nix to get in there and just really make the biggest play of the game for this defense. Go, go, get a push, get a push. Yeah, or not. You know, it felt like there was a hole there, and then once I hit it, it just swallowed me up. So, who knows what's happening there. Oh, he's got him. Oh, I really wish they could have got the first there. Is there a QB sneak? There is. We're going with the QB sneak. Just get a couple inches. He got it. He got it. What? No. No. We are, we're going for it. That is, I mean, he was 100,000% past the first down line. Look at that ball. He was in there. Yes, it is gutsy, but we're the road team against a team much better than us, and we're going to make it. Let's go. Atkins getting open. There we go. Big gain for the first down. All right, there's a reason... The only school that offered you a scholarship was an FCS school, Connecticut State. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. Go. Go. Get down. Holy crap. Yep, I felt that coming a mile away. And we're flopping all over the place. We can't believe it. Oh, that's that's terrible. Our, our The game's gone if our quarterback can't play. Oh, he's still out. All right, Robertson's going to have to come in and, well, just try to get a first down here. And he's got Wiley for a huge gain. Oh, my gosh, we're moving. We're moving the sticks. All right, we're going to get a run going here. Oh, and he's out for the rest of the game. Oh, that's tough. Yep, we're going to start chewing clock here. Oh, but not if we can only get half a yard per carry. Is he the fastest guy in there? He's not. Larkin's much faster. Who's got better acceleration? Oh, that's the question. We only need a yard here. Larkin. All right, we're going to... We're going to burn a timeout. We need Larkin in there. He's faster. We're just running a QB draw here. Nothing special. And we just need two yards. Well, they look ready for it. We're switching into a pass, and I'm just going to try to take off like it's a draw. Hike it. He's going to get in there. He's going to squeak in. That's not going to force a field goal. I don't think we're going to make. That's a first down. That's a first down. Yep, we're going right on the ball. Third and long. Huge conversion by Larkin in this offense. The clock is just going to keep on ticking here.
letting it wind down. Okay, don't like the fact that he dove there, but we're going to get right back on the ball. Reason B is, you know, we can get a couple seconds to tick off the clock before the ref gets to spot the ball, and the play clock will keep moving. Or the play clock stopped while the game clock keeps moving. I mean, this would be a huge conversion. The more the clock we keep running, we're really getting late in the game. This game has been moving. Larkin's got no one. Throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. No. No, 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 no. That's a terrible sack. I don't know if we're in field goal range anymore. The ball. I can't believe Gage just completely gave up and decided he did not feel like going for that ball. I don't even know what to run here. This is awful. Clock stopped. We're not even close to in field goal range. Sending Burke out all the way we gotta try for it get a quick pump fake and it's off his hands oh my gosh it's right off his hands how does that happen how on earth does that happen all right we gotta rely on the defense who's been carrying us all game Green. Pick it. Oh my gosh, that could have sealed the game, boys. I mean I love I love the defense, but you gotta try to pick it when you can. I mean, this feels like the Super Bowl from two years ago. There's just very little offense happening. He's short. That's not a first. That's not a first. All right, they are not going no huddle. A little surprise here. All right, we're still going against the pass. I don't care if it's third and short. We'll give up the run. We'll give up a short first. We just can't let anything behind us right now. Oh, boy. All right, good takedown, good takedown. They're probably going to go no huddle here. I'd be surprised if they didn't. And they're still not. Timeouts, and I think they think that they're going to score here. So why give us time? Oh, my gosh, that's a great play by the defense. Look at that. What a hit. Knicks getting the game of the player of the game. Uh, their player of the game is their running back with 36 yards of offense. This has been, and I can say with 100% certainty, even if someone scores here, the lowest scoring game I've ever played in an NCAA football game. I've never, ever had a nine point total with 50 seconds left in the fourth quarter. I mean, this has been crazy. It's just been nothing but three and outs all game. But I'm definitely a little worried here that they're driving. I don't want to go to overtime. I don't think we're going to win. I'm going to control Pruitt from now on. See if I can help with this wide receiver. Jam him, jam him, jam him. All right, he's short. He's short. Unfortunately, it feels like they're in field goal range now. Still can't let anything up behind us. Pick it, pick it. Oh, my gosh. That would have been the game right there, guys. We, we can't keep missing these chances. You know, this is this is what always happens when you let a team right back in. You miss chances to make big plays. Okay, pushed out, pushed out. Not great. They got the first down. At this point, the game is huge. We can't let up a touchdown here. And there it is. Yep. Oh, that's the game. Oh, that's terrible. We our offense sucked so badly.
just a million chances to end this game. Could not do it. Oh, terrible loss. Just feels so hurtful. I mean, we had no business being in this game, but to lose with 31 seconds left, just, that's a punch to the gut if I ever heard one. Still, like I said, 10 to 6, this is the biggest defensive battle I've ever played in an NCAA game. Well, I don't, I don't even know what to call here. I guess Hail Marys? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why they think we should have our tight ends out at this point. We'll go with Flood. I don't, our receivers don't get open very well, so that's a big problem. Get it. Get it. Oh my gosh. All right. I mean, I still don't feel great about the situation, but it's it's nice to be this far down the field in one play. I'll tell you that much. No, that's, that's the thing, guys. We can't give up sacks like that. Never, ever like that. Never, never, literally never. There's nothing I can call here. There's, I mean, we had a drop. So many drop passes where we could have ended the game, and the offense just sucked every bit of the every bit. That's a pick. Yep. Oh, uh, this game. It's a terrible loss. Oh, uh, feels terrible. Well, that's it. You know, I guess the only thing we can take moving forward is if this is how we're gonna play a team that was ranked going into the season. 28th in the country now if that's how we're gonna play them where we barely lose on a last second touchdown I hopefully we can make some noise in the Mac this year Let's look at the stats I mean when it came time to shine their QB stepped up and made a lot of good throws we didn't really let the, I mean, they averaged a lot of yards. They just didn't choose to run a lot. But, I mean, those averages on the this guy killed us. Only four catches, averaging over 16 yards a catch. We did not do so well. I mean, no one was consistently getting open. We didn't run the ball very well. I mean, we put up six points for a reason, and that's because we started two of our drives right in field goal range and were able to just capitalize on those. But, my golly, talk about the absolute lowest scoring game I've ever played in a football video game. That's just crazy. Sim through the rest of this week. Man, I can't. I mean, I bet that's going to be the lowest scoring game of the week. Some other close ones, but. Oh, wow. We got Toledo. All right, we need to beat them. I hate Toledo. It's our first MAC game ever. This is a must win for the program. A must win. They're ranked 90th. I mean, not that we should be ranked where we are, but, you know, hey, we're there. Any other MAC games this week to keep our eyes out for? All right, Eastern Michigan and Akron are playing. UConn got a win there last week. Wonder who they beat. Oh, Mitchell Palooza, a tough loss to Southern Miss. Bowling Green lost to Purdue. Oh, UConn beat Army. Shouldn't be a surprise there. Where's Arizona State? There's Arizona State. Beat Northern Arizona pretty badly. That's a weird score, 20 to two. But hey, you know, that's where we got. We gotta play Toledo and we gotta come out with a big win. So I'll see you guys in the next game. I hope everyone takes care. It's been a great episode of Mitch Palooza Gaming and I had a lot of fun making this one. Even though it was a frustrating loss, you know, that's why you play. You play for close games like that, that are fun to play, that really like two minutes left in the fourth quarter, get your blood pumping. So I hope everyone has a great day. Peace.